Hello, welcome to chapter 7 and this is the part 1 of chapter 7. So in this part, we will discuss about uh, cash and cash equivalents, trade and cash discounts and then we will solve uh, some problems on cash and cash equivalents and trade and cash discounts. Okay, so let's go. The first one is cash. Uh, as you know, the cash uh, is the uh, amount that is uh, readily available to pay off debt or to use in operations currency and coins balances in checking accounts and cash equivalents are short-term highly liquid investments readily convertible to cash with very little risk of loss and if we can convert an investment into cash within three months that is cash equivalent okay and the examples of money market funds treasury bills and commercial papers uh, restricted cash this is the amount of cash that is restricted in some way and not available for current use and this is actually restricted for a specific uh, future purpose for example uh, for future plant expansion and sometimes they are contractually imposed for example, debt instruments may require the borrower to set aside funds and if the debt is non-current, then that fund is also non-current and if the debt is current, then the debt is also current. Compensating balance. This is really interesting. So an amount that compensates the bank for granting the loan or extending the line of credit. Under this arrangement, borrower is asked to maintain a specified balance in a low interest or non-interest bearing account at the bank. And uh, re this uh, required balance equals some percentage of the committed amount. Borrower pays effective interest rate higher uh, than the stated uh, rate on the date. So, the amount of money that you are borrowing actually is higher than the amount of money that you are receiving okay say for example you are uh, borrowing uh, say 20 million but you actually you actually are receiving say uh, 18 million okay so you will be paying interest on 20 million but you are using only 18 millions and let's have an example so See that a company borrows 10 million from a bank at an uh, interest rate of 12%. The bank requires compensating balance of 2 million. Okay, so in that case, see that you are actually receiving uh, 8 million, correct? Because this 10 million minus this 2 million, you are actually receiving 8 million of money. Okay. So let's see, the total borrowing from the bank is 10 million and interest is 1,200,000, 12 percent, okay? And actual borrowing is 8 million because you are leaving the 2 million in the bank, okay? So effective rate of interest would be, so 1,200,000 total interest divided by the actual amount of money that you are having in, in your hand. So, say that the effective rate of interest is much higher than the uh, interest rate, right? Accounts receivable. Uh, it is created when sellers recognize revenue associated with a credit sale and most business provide credit to their business uh, customers and accounts receivable are informal credit arrangements supported by an invoice and normally are due in 30 to 60 days after the sale. So classified as current assets because their normal collection period is part of the operating cycle of the business. Uh, trade discounts and sales uh, discounts. So the trade discounts, a percentage reduction from the list price and uh, quantity discounts to large customers. This is trade discounts. Okay, this doesn't actually affect your uh, cash payments. Okay, 
and the sales discounts this is the reduction in the amount to be paid by a credit customer if paid within a specified period of time and intended to provide incentive for quick payment uh, the normal term is 2 10 and 30 it means that if you pay within uh, 10 days you will be receiving 2% uh, cash discount but the remaining amount uh, must be paid uh, within uh, 30 days remaining means uh, if you don't pay within 10 days then you have to pay within 30 days this is uh, what it means 2 10 and 30 okay and let's have an example so that uh, a manufacturing company offers uh, credit customers a 2 percent sales discount if the sales price is paid within 10 days any amounts not paid within 10 days are due in 30 days so these repayment terms are stated as 2, 10, and 30. So meaning if you pay within 10 days, you will receive 2% discounts. And if you don't pay within 10 days, but you have to pay within 30 days. On October 5, 2021, the Hawthorne sold merchandise at a price of 20,000. The customer paid 13,720 on October 15 meaning within 10 days and the remaining balance 6,000 on November 4. So let's see. The first one is October uh, 5. The sales, there are two methods over here. Uh, as you can see that the, the first one is the gross method. So in the gross method, we uh, see we are not uh, calculating the discount. Uh, okay, we are recording the entire amount. So account receivable, uh, debit uh, 20,000 and sales revenue. Uh, credit 20,000 and the net method see we are actually recording uh, after subtracting the discount amount we are recording the 98% of the sales uh, revenue so accounts receivable is 98% of the uh, 20,000 and sales revenue is also actually in this case what we are doing we are assuming that the buyers will take the opportunity of the uh, cash discount meaning they will pay within 10 days so that is why we are uh, recording the net method and the other one is see that so the uh, buyer pays on November 4 uh, the remaining 6000 so uh, under the gross method what we are doing see that cash debit and accounts receivable credit 6000 okay but in case of net method, see what we are doing. We are actually receiving the 6,000 cash on November 4 because they are paying after the discount period. So we are receiving the entire amount and accounts receivable is uh, this one. This is actually the 98% of the 6,000 and this is the 2% of 6,000. This is the amount of the sales discounts that has been forfeited because the buyer failed to pay within 10 days.